Hi, Red Room, how are you? Today is such a nice day, I thought I would bring our lesson outside. And in honor of Earth Week this week, I wanted to read you this really cute book. It's called 10 Things I Can Do to Help My World by Melanie Walsh. I remember to turn off the light when I leave the room. Turning off lights and using more efficient light bulbs saves valuable energy. I try to turn off the tap water when I brush my teeth. Because every time you do this, you save 18 glasses of water. I always throw my trash away. Putting garbage away keeps the world safe and clean. I will feed the birds in the winter because feeding the birds helps them get ready for nesting in the spring. I use both sides of the paper. If everybody did this, it would greatly reduce the number of trees we use to make paper. I remind my parents to unplug the TV when we're not watching it because many electrical appliances use energy even when they are turned off. I enjoy making toys from things around the house. We can reduce lots of things before we throw them away. We can reuse lots of things before we throw them away. I like to walk to school. Avoiding car trips saves gas and cuts down on air pollution. Walking is also a good exercise. I can plant seeds and help them grow. Plants help keep the air clean and healthy. I help Sort the recycling. Cans go in here, glasses will go in here, compost here, plastic here, paper in this one. So we sort the recycling all because I love my world. That was fun. Okay, what I thought we would do is go on a scavenger hunt. On the website, mom wait, momontheside.com, I found two different kinds of scavenger hunt papers that we could use. This one has pictures of things that you can find outside, and when you find them, you check it off. Like here, oh, over there, I see a tree. I'm gonna check it off because I found a tree. But I want to use this paper. It's the Earth Day scavenger hunt. So instead, I'm gonna start up here. I wanna find a rock, a stick, a leaf, some grass, litter, flower, spiderweb, dirt, ant, feather, and bark. I'm gonna walk around my backyard here and I'm gonna find some of these things. Won't you come with me? Okay, let's go. I don't have my pen, but that's okay. Let's see. The first thing I have to find are some rocks. And look at down here. Let's see. 
I see a bunch of rocks down here. Follow me. Look at all these rocks. There it is. Okay, what's next on my list? A stick. Hmm, there's some trees around here. I bet there's some sticks around here somewhere. Let's see. Oh, I found one in here. There's a stick. I'm going to check it off my list. Now it says find a leaf. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to point right up there on the tree are lots of leaves. The next thing it says is find some grass. Well, look what I'm standing on. I'm standing on grass. Okay, you all can finish this if you want to go to that website and you'll have a lot of fun. Okay, I enjoy talking to you today. Bye-bye.